It's a good question. I, I think I have a lot of persons in my family who are concerned about mental illness. Um, I have also experienced personally some extreme state, especially with um, drugs and alcohol. And um, it's also because I feel more comfortable with uh, uh, non-classical people. I'm basically very boring with them. Um, I'm bored with normal person. It's why I'm here. I work for almost uh, 13 years with uh, people who are homeless and uh, I've been uh, labelized uh, with a so-called uh, mental disorder and um, I am not comfortable with a classical mental health system. It, uh, very, it is very difficult for me to, um, to work with a classical uh, mental health system because it's too coercive and uh, for me it's not respectful for the right of the people. My first um, experience was at Yale University. I was working as a social worker in an outreach team on the street. And um, I don't like uh, to stay in a building. I don't, don't like to have a desk. I never have a desk with my name on it. And I prefer to work on the street uh, and uh, in the community to meet people where they live, uh, geographically and existentially to understand their own experience. Uh, I start to work with uh, one guy. Uh, his name is Herman Andeluber, and he was homeless when I met him. And um, he teach me a lot of things about what the people need. And basically he said to me, you know, I don't need a doctor. I need a home, so help the people to have a home. And after we will talk about health, because home is the first need that everybody have. And so we started in, to open a squat in Marseille in 2007. And um, with this experience, we discover that people have a lot of skills because you need skills to survive on the street. And even if you have a extreme state, you use drugs, uh, you are lost, you don't know exactly where you are and what you are doing, but uh, you know how to survive. You still have um, capacity. And uh, I think the policymakers do not understand uh, that they can use this capacity to build uh, a solution with the people. And the problem is that uh, policymakers and professionals build solutions for the people, but without them, and this is, a, this is a big problem. I think it's part of the problem. Um, I was in Inter in Liverpool two years ago, and um, I was one of the people who said that we have to open Inter to people who are not white. Um, it's, it was for me a very white Anglo-Saxon Protestant um, organization, and I, I am a white Anglo-Saxon, not Anglo-Saxon, but I am a white Protestant person. Uh, and um, I know that uh, you need to exchange from different cultures. And uh, what I learned here is what I learned during all my travel, during all my life, is that uh, we have a lot of in common. We have also differences, and um, we have to to recognize that we have a lot of in common. Um, and we have also to share the differences because it can be useful for everybody. I think basically it's, um, I think in Asia people are more, I mean, people who work with people who have extreme state are more connected with uh, the body. Um, it's Bragavi bring that in Liverpool two years ago and, uh, you know, all the, the yoga, meditation, and basically the, we d here in Asia, you don't have this cut between the mind and the body. And um, my first background is a rugby player. 
And uh, for me, my body is uh, directly connected with my mind. I mean, if my body is not good, my mind is not good. And I just do not understand why in the Western country we don't just uh, think about it in terms of practice. And I think here people are more aware about that. I think psychiatry um, do not understand um, uh, social justice. And I think we have to work uh, on that first. I mean, uh, capitalism and um, the dominant thinking right now is very um, individualistic. And um, I think we have to work um, with um, people who are in charge of thinking about uh, social um, 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 determinant. Um, the people I work with, they need food, they need a safe place to stay, they need a home, you know, intimacy. Um, I always say to the people, we are a kind of animals who need a home. Some animals can sleep outside without a home, and you have birds and other animals, you know, they build a house. And we are this kind of animals. And uh, we have done that for uh, thousands and thousands of years. And now we are very rich and we have some people they don't have home. This is just crazy, you know. And um, we, have, we are too rich uh, economically with the money, but we are not rich in uh, living together. We don't know how to live together. We are so many right now. Uh, I mean, uh, at, the, at the 19th century, we were left that one billion, and now we have six billion, and we are going to be eight, nine, and we have to really to think about how we are going to share things. And um, it's for that that social justice for me now is, uh, the, I will say, it's the key word to, to see where we are going.